Hi guys, this is Sayyid Ahmad Khazir. In this concise lecture, we are going to discuss about what are reactive dyes, why they are more preferred than other kind of dyes in textile sector, and their mode of action, and why it is not easy to reuse them after getting them extracted from dyeing effluent. Dye molecules which have this ability to make covalent bond with the substrate are considered to be reactive dyes. Uh, specifically hydroxyl groups and amino groups are considered to be dye sites for reactive dyes but they are specifically present in cellulosic, proteinic and nylon fibers. But nowadays lot of synthetic fibers are being developed through copolymers to make them reactive dyeable because of the extraordinary properties of reactive dyes. Now due to very high color fastness properties of these reactive dyes, especially uh, their wet fastness properties, they are mainly preferred in textile industry. Similar to reactive dyes, wet dyes also do have very high fastness properties but unfortunately wet dyes are not as economical as reactive dyes. So that is why reactive dyes are comparatively more widely used in textile sector. These dyes react with substrate by nucleophilic substitution reaction and in some cases by nucleophilic addition reaction. Uh, just like in this structure you can see one of the most common uh, dichlorotriazine type of reactive dye. Its reactive group is highlighted so you can see where uh, within the dye molecule a nucleophile is going to replace that particular fluorine group. A nucleophile has to be uh, comparatively more stronger to replace this chlorine group in order to react with a substrate. Okay. Now, as you can see in this other diagram of cellulose structure, there is no specific nucleophile already present in that structure, right? But as we know that in alkaline medium, deprotonation takes place and those hydroxyl groups present in the cellulose get deprotonated their H positive ion is released and uh, this results in the generation of nucleophile within the cellulose structure but unfortunately there is another nucleophile present in a dyeing liquor which is hydroxide ion this means that there are two reactions that are going to take place uh, number one is fixation reaction which is reaction between cellulose and this dye molecule uh, due to which they form covalent bond with each other and get fixed. Uh, secondly, uh, that particular hydroxyl group, that hydroxide ion present in the water uh, will react with this dye molecule and consume its reacting group, right? After which dye molecule will lose its property to react with the substrate. Now as per our discussion up till now it is very easy to understand that why it is a complicated job to recycle and reuse reactive dyes. It is not like other kind of dyes uh, because their mode of action is very different and there are no certain changes in all the other dyes which would have lost uh, which would have made them lost their properties. But in reactive dyes, we know that uh, majority of the dyes we extract from the effluent are going to be hydrolyzed form, right? And it would have lost its potential to rebind itself to the fabric surface, right? So this is one of the reasons.